Facing the fall, students in St. John's County, they went back to the classroom today. The school district just released its COVID-19 dashboard as well, so parents can monitor cases at each school. Here's what we know right now. 95 students are positive for COVID-19 out of more than 45,000 students in the St. John's County School District. For perspective, that is less than 1%, and those cases were all reported by parents not sent home after a positive test at school. 60 employees are positive out of more than 5,000 employees. Employees. Ahead of 515, Melanie Lawson speaks with parents about the first day back to school. COVID-19 cases are rising among people in Duval County school system as well. That's according to the district's online dashboard. Here are their numbers. After the first day of classes Tuesday, there were just two cases, one staff member and one student. By Friday night, though, the tally was 82 cases, including 16 staffers and 66 students. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean leads our coverage on the pandemic tonight. He spoke to the district officials and students about what the numbers show and what they don't show. Joe? Yeah, and Zim, uh, with so much information flying around social media and by word of mouth and uh, by email, it's important to remember what this dashboard is. The district said it's not meant to be a uh, uh, the end all of all information about how COVID-19 is spreading in the community. Instead, it's supposed to be a information source for parents to learn about COVID-19 cases in their school. And that's it. What you see on the dashboard are those cases of students or staff that have been in the school building that impact school operations that have reported testing positive of COVID-19. Right now, that number stands at 82 cases, 66 students, and 16 employees. The dashboard is updated each weeknight around 8 p.m., and each update includes all the cases reported to the district by 4 p.m. on that day. Midway through last year, the district stopped waiting for Department of Health confirmation before posting the data to its dashboard. But Communications Director Tracy Pierce tells me that department is still the main source of record for COVID-19 activity. The Florida Department of Health has the responsibility in the state for tracking actual health care data. Um, we're simply reporting those cases that are reported to us of people who are inside of our school buildings who are testing positive for COVID-19. So it is, it is zeroing in on that data that impacts that school building and that's the most relevant to families of that school community. While it hasn't been used so far this year, the district also plans to use a similar process to decide if and when an outbreak grows to the point that a classroom, a school, or the entire district has to move to virtual learning. Generally in Duval County, if 20% of a class or school has been exposed, that switch will happen. Uh, but again, that if the Department of Health said to move this classroom to online learning or to remote uh, instruction in some way, uh, we would obviously heed the direction of the Department of Health, both for a classroom or a school-based closure. You know, it's a changing situation, uh, just like it was a changing situation last year. Um, schools are resilient in adapting, and I think that our schools are adapting exceptionally well to what we're being faced with. I spoke to several students today as well who said uh, COVID-19 isn't really necessarily a cause of stress in the hallways, but they say it's certainly something that's on their minds and they certainly don't want to have to go to remote learning after they're happy to be back in person. Uh, some Duval County parents, though, they're not waiting for a COVID-19 outbreak. They say they're moving their, their students to virtual options now. I'll have that story coming up on News for Jacks at 6. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.